Pueblo by 1074 64. Joined now by our player of the game, Sarah McGinley, who's had just a great weekend for the Griffins last night. McGinley with 17 points, six rebounds, four assists, a stat sheet stuffer effort tonight. More the same for the Griffin senior as she finished with 14 points, five boards. Congratulations on a great weekend of Thank basketball. You. Thank you. Let's talk about the game tonight, some keys that helped your team get the win tonight over CSU Pueblo. Ooh, uh, I think just looking at the stat sheet, it's pretty obvious. Hunter showed up, uh, <laughs> showed up big. Yes, she did. That's the kind of player she is. She had a, you know, foul trouble last night, and she's the kind of player she's not going to have two bad nights in a row. So she really carried us. Our shooting was phenomenal. Our coach said 71% from threes, so our shot was on today, um, and that's what carried us through. I was going to say, when you shoot around, you know, 50 some percent overall and knock down mm -hmm. 10 of 14 threes, you're normally going to win a lot of games. And you exactly. guys were knocking down shots the whole night. What what helped you get those good open looks? Was it screens? Was it just penetration kick counts? What helped you get so many good looks from long range tonight? I think the coach has really been emphasizing just that extra pass, right? Because we, we can make those good, you know, quick look shots. We can make those, but it's about making that extra pass to the yep. next one. And we were really emphasizing that. And I think we played unselfish ball, finding the next players today, tonight. I've been impressed the last few nights, and I've watched you guys throughout the years, but you and I thought Mariah Martin particularly have worked very well together. Kind of the, yeah. the passes to a screen, to a roll to the basket. Mariah had a ton of layups last night, thanks to your job on the screen. You guys just seem to be in a good rhythm right now. Do you feel that's how it's working for you a little bit? Oh, definitely. I love I love playing with Mariah. We've gotten super close this year. Um, she's just something special. I always tell her, I. Personally, I think she's the best basketball player I've ever played with. So I just have a lot of respect for her because she puts in the work uh, yeah. to be as good as she is. We guys are obviously both very skilled players when you, you work well together. You can tell that the cohesiveness with you two is there working right now. Let's talk about this team. It's been a weird year for everybody, but yes. you guys missed some games early. Mm -hmm. But you're in a nice little role right now. You're 9-3, and three, playing pretty good basketball. Your depth is not great, but I think it's good enough. Uh, to get through this. Your mm -hmm. thoughts on how you can finish up and maybe, you know, can you guys finish third, second in this conference and, and have a good postseason run before you're done? Is that what you're thinking right now? Yeah, I think our losses earlier on in the season were good lessons. I think we've learned a lot from them. I think our defense has really picked up. Our boxing out has really picked up because that's what that's what killed us in our early on losses. So I yeah. think we're, we're heading, I think, I, I hope we're hitting our <laughs> peak, you know? While other teams like Western, like um, Mesa, you know, they're kind of dipping a little because they started right. off really strong. So I think it's playing out for us well in the long run. Yeah. Well, you guys have played great this weekend. Let's talk about you, your senior. Yes. Uh, you and I were talking before we came on here. This is going to be it for you. Everyone has the option to come back right, right. for next year. But you get to point two academically where it's time to just say, hey, exactly. it's been good. It's time to move on. What are your plans yeah. after this season? Yeah, I'm super thankful for Shelly and Jax, the opportunity they've given me here. Ultimately, I've been playing ball since I was four, so yeah. it's, it's a pretty, it's a hard decision, but I know in my heart um, that it's the right one for me. So I'll actually, I've applied to law schools. I just finished taking the LSAT, um, and I'm hoping to move out to New York City and attend law school. Good for you. That yeah. sounds like a fun future ahead yes. of you. You got some more basketball left, about three more yep, weeks. Yep, maybe, three, maybe four, we'll see. But right. uh, you guys are right there in the hunt to, to finish high in this conference and, and continue to play in the mm -hmm. March. So mm -hmm. congratulations on the win. Thank you so much. Congrats on a great weekend. We'll see you down the road. Thank you so much. Have a good night. You too as well. Sarah McGinley, our player of the game, is Griffins take down CSU Pueblo by 10 here at Beck and Fieldhouse. We're good. And I mean that pun because her dad's rusty and she is like a little rusty. So she, <laughs> she uh, needed that game. Game show from Bank in Westminster over. Game show from Bank in Westminster over. CSU Pueblo 74 to 64. Joined now by Griffin's head coach Shelly Gerard. And you know Shelly, when you knock down 10 of 14 threes, shoot 55 percent. That's normally a pretty good formula for a win. And that's why I played out tonight. Your team wins by 10. Your thoughts on the victory? Well, I think that's how good Pueblo is, is we shot, you know, 71% from three for the <laughs> game, and it's not like we took two, you know, uh, that was that was some good shooting, and then 55% on from the field, uh, you know, and to only then win by 10, uh, that's how good Pueblo is, and they have a lot of skill. I think if they had a, 
a November, a normal preseason. Yeah. Um, man, and they, you know, just had more games under their belt together. They, they're, <laughs> they're tough. Um, they can rebound. They just have size. They, could, they scored on, you know, on the paint on us at will. Um, so, you know, lots of credit to them. They're a great program. Um, so, yeah, very happy with the road sweep. I mean, the home sweep. Yeah, Hunter Krebs tonight, uh, some foul difficulty last night. Came back tonight, we yes. knew she would if she could stay on the floor and, That's right. and stay down of foul trouble. 25 points, six rebounds, knocked down four or five threes. She did yeah. so many things so well for you tonight. So great. You know, she made four, she was four, four from three, right, in the first half. So obviously that's they took that away from her yep. in the second and she had drives to the rim from the perimeter and it was beautiful <laughs> you know she she put the ball down on the floor and got to the rim and it was just she was tough she had some big scores at the block for us um you know i'm just i'm really proud of her she she really responded well and and um, th they're a handful defensively so it's not like you're resting down there and then get to play offense you know you're you're battling and it's exhausting the whole time so yeah um, yeah, I'm really proud of her. I thought Mariah had a great game. Um, you know, I played her every single minute, uh, and she's so fit. And, uh, you know, to have six assists um, and 10, what'd she have? 13. 13 points. Yeah. You know, just really, really savvy, just really handled the pressure well. Um, you know, never let up, and it was great. Just talked to Sarah McGinley as our yeah. player of the game. 14 points for her tonight, five rebounds, and uh, you know, four assists, and then I just complimented yeah. her. I said, I've enjoyed watching you and Mariah the last two nights in particular play so well together. She said, we're in sync right now. We, we, we read each other well, and they're comfortable, and yeah. it's showing right now for those two. Yeah. Sarah's, I mean, Sarah's a great kid, first of all. She is just a wonderful person. She has a job. She volunteers at the Rape Recovery Center one night a week on the phone wow. overnight. She helps uh, a local prominent attorney in town. Um, I don't want to name drop, but you know, she's <laughs> and, and then she gets it done here. She's got a 4.0. She is just amazing, Mike. I can't say enough good things about her. And, and uh, anybody out there listening should hire that kid in a heartbeat if you, if you can get her. But she, she is um, just one of those people. You know, she puts in the time. Um, to get better at her game, and, and you know, I can't say enough wonderful things about her. Yeah, she told us she's applying for law school right yes, now and yes. uh, got a bright future ahead. And as we know, everyone can come back from this year. This basically is a frozen year yeah. for eligibility, but you get to a point, too, where sometimes yeah. it's just time to move on. And for sure. her, she seems to be in that mindset, but uh, yep. great kid. Uh, yes. She's had a wonderful weekend, great career for you since yes. transferring. Yes, love her um, so much. So. We're very fortunate. I was really getting kind of sentimental tonight, honestly, looking out there and um, looking at these kids that have been here four years and, you know, not very many home games left. And I was telling Kaylee, I remember watching her um, in high school and her dad coming up to me. And, you know, I remember some plays in high school and I was getting a little sentimental. And she, <laughs> you know, she had a great, she shot well tonight. We needed she sure her, did. you know, yeah. and, and the poor kid, I mean, she's in a nursing major, so she gets to about half a practice a week I swear she's just never here and then I start her and I play her a ton and she's a little rusty um, um, and I mean that pun because her dad's rusty and she is like a little rusty so <laughs> she, she uh, needed that game last night to then I think kind of get warmed up and have a practice for tonight she, <laughs> she was uh, she really helped us so um, you know, kudos to her, too. Yeah, Carlson, 10 points, one of four for you in double figures. Yeah. Abby Mangum, good as well, again tonight with nine points. Yep. You just had a lot of people. I mean, Hunter had the big right. game, of course, but right. playing support behind her. You shoot well. Yep. Uh, let's talk about the next few weeks. Two games yeah. in the road next week, two more at home. You guys yeah. are right there to be, you know, top three in the conference. The way it sets up. It doesn't up. get any easier. So going to Regis and Colorado School of Mines. Colorado School of Mines just knocked off Western at Western, so they're in first place. Um, you know, so we've got you know, uh, Western and Mines left. We got the yeah. top of the, the, the top, top two. Of the, yeah, we right got there. them left, and so um, they're going to be battles. And so uh, you know, got to regroup and, and rest up a little bit and get ready. Yeah, I mentioned the game against Mines. You'll face Western Colorado here, the final game of the season on February 27th, which is not that far away anymore. Hard to believe where we are it. headed towards the end of February. Well, Shelley, yeah. enjoy the win. Great Thanks. weekend at home. Happy Valentine's Day. Same to you. You know. I Absolutely. don't know. I should have brought you some chocolate. But <laughs> thanks, thanks for what you do for us. Well, I appreciate really appreciate. It. Everybody loves you. I know it. It's been a lot of fun as always. Uh, year right. twelve, and it's it's been an interesting year in so many ways yes, for all of us. Has. But we have enjoyed it. So, I, Shelley, I'm always happy to see you.